Howdy folks, welcome today to Cedar Creek Homestead and I'm restoring some old Amish built furniture. These are, uh, I'll get a close up here in just a second and show you, but uh, got two old rocking chairs here that were built by the Amish here in Oklahoma and uh, but they've been out a lot and uh, they've, uh, I guess when they done it they didn't finish it. I've already stained this part and when i get the camera up here closer maybe you can tell but anyway they're weathered they've been out on a porch and um, been used quite a bit but all i'm going to do is just stain these things and restore them and i'm using uh, what's called a pecan finish um, and uh, i've got this old shirt on here because i'm a messy stain person but it's mend wax golden pecan 245 golden pecan 245 by men wax and uh, i've used uh, it on other projects before i like to use gun stock is my favorite color but uh, they've been out of that but i have used the pecan before too and it does good so it's uh, i'm letting it set on here I put the stain down here at the bottom i have not stained this part i'll get the camera here in just a minute and show you and i've got a I, uh, one that I have done the whole chair. I'm going to let it set a little bit. And then what I do is take an old rag and just wipe it down. If you've ever stained furniture, the longer you leave the stain, the darker it'll get. And I'd like for this to get a little darker. The sun has really faded these out over the years, but these are heavy duty rocking chairs that ought to last <laughs> for many, many years. But uh, let me just show you here don't have the best of light but i have stained that portion right there you can see how and it's wet so it looks a little better but i want you to look at how if i can get this back here where you can see good look how light that is the sun has really took its toll on this wood and this is where i've stained you see the difference and i just take a little brush and stain and uh you can tell the back here probably a lot better uh, the back course has been up against the wall and it hasn't received as bad of treatment as the front side. But I'm just going to stain all this. You can see the legs. This one, I've already stained the whole chair. And you can tell here a whole lot of difference in, in the two. And uh, I'm going to go over it again. But when I first stained the chair, and here in just a second, in fact, it's about time now, I can take a rag and wipe this all down real good and kind of make sure everything's been stained and then I can go over it again here in a little bit. So I just take an old shop rag like this, you could use about anything, and just go down the furniture. You'll probably get to see us on some of our videos setting in this furniture here. But the Amish are excellent craftsmen. I mean, they, this dude is meant to, uh, to last other than the stain. And I, I imagine, uh, I kind of wondered if it had actually, uh, well, I know it has been stained a little bit, but if they just didn't, wasn't too concerned about that part, perhaps to sell it or whatever. But uh, this was made by some Amish craftsmen up in, Shoto, Oklahoma, and uh, they, uh, like I say, this has been out. You can see that little bar right there? It's really, it needs another. I've already put one coat of stain on it, but uh, I just take the rag, kind of go over it lightly, and let it set for, I would say, I would wait about, uh, 15 minutes or so it's been at least that long since i've done this one and i'm just going to go down all i'm going to do is get this extra sometimes it kind of especially down here in these corners it will uh kind of build up and to keep it more uniform looking and it's probably hard to get a good reference with this on camera but uh i should have took a picture of this chair before I started on it, but it looks almost brand new. And I don't mind 
the weathering a little bit the wood the way it looks there i kind of like that look so uh, more old timey rustic look but this old chair here will last uh, i'm sure outlast me and finding heavy duty furniture uh, when you have company and stuff grandchildren relatives over that'll hold up but once you look how dry that is and look at the one where I finished it and you could get any color that you wanted if you wanted a cherry or uh, just when it's this dry it'll soak in so good and make the chair look so good um, whenever I'm staining I like to put an old shirt on kind of like this and um, it because I'm a messy stainer I get it everywhere I even when I'm putting on the stain I've got some gloves here old gloves that I put on because I don't think it's good to get that in your hands and here I am handling that rag I just done but I'm sure the chemicals and things is in another key I would tell you if you're going to restore furniture if you've never used stain before in a big I just showed you this gallon jug that I had of stain of this men wax make sure you mix it up real good um, I had uh, some and had my son doing some staining in it's been a few years back but he um, when it was time for him to do the staining he didn't know to mix it up so he didn't and we got different colors so if you want a consistent color especially if you're doing a whole bunch of lumber or something and you want the same everything make sure you mix your your stain up really really well um, anyway I'm gonna get some more stain on this chair right here go over it again uh, actually gonna finish up this chair I'd already the other one over here then I'll do another coat on here <music> I was going to show you the finished product here in our chairs and uh, show you uh, what the rockers look like. We've had to keep them outside on the porch because of the, uh, the smell of that stain. I had them outside for over a week in the shop and uh, then we put them on out on the porch and then we decided to put them in the house. We was going to put them in the house anyway. But when we did, that stain smell was so strong. But I was going to show you these old chairs. Now, they've been outside here for a few days now, a week or two, whatever. We'll head and threw them outside. But I call them the presidential chairs. Something looked like something would go in the White House when we first got them. And this, we didn't, wouldn't have picked these chairs out for the living room. We got a deal when we bought this house. It was a double wide trailer. And... The people called us won't know they my folks had told them we was looking to buy a dining room set so we go out to their home to buy a dining room set look at it anyway and uh, we get there and they said well we'll say the dining room set for so many dollars and stuff and the hutches china cabinets all that but so we'd also like to make you another deal so we'll say you all the furniture in our home i want to say it's twenty five hundred dollars everything lamps they had some at antique bedroom suit that we still have in the guest bedroom and stuff so anyway they said we'll say all that and uh, so i said well hey that's keep us from buying furniture and their stuff was brand new then and that's been nearly 15 years ago or so now however long ago it's been but anyway uh, we uh finished raising blade and all of his friends and school football buddies and stuff would come over here and uh other nephews and things that was here a lot so the, our furniture has had some very good use but uh, so it actually was a blessing the lord blessed us with it but i was just going to show you these two chairs i call them the presidential chairs like i say we wouldn't pick these out normally for us because i thought when when we got them i was like that's something i ought to go in the 
White House. But anyway, here they are now after all this time. And they were a few years old when these folks had them. But uh, they started getting where the legs was breaking down. And somebody that was into furniture restoration could probably fix them. But you can tell we, um, we've had a lot of guests set in these chairs. So they're... Um, they're going by the wayside now, and this arm come off of this one, and those people had had trouble with that arm before and had tried repairing it, and it didn't last. So anyway, we're switching these out for rocking chairs. So I got these on the porch here, and if you ever notice, I'm usually sitting in a rockers no matter what porch I'm on, but we're going to put these in the house, but we've been letting them... Uh, these old Amish chairs, I've stained them, and to me they look a whole lot better, and I don't smell the stains so strong, so I think they're ready to go back in the house. We're planning on actually doing uh, some videos in the living room this winter when it's cold, and we thought we could set in these rockers was one of our ideas, me and Josie. So anyway, there's the finished products there, and... Uh, I can still smell the stain just a little bit, but that smell was kind of strong, and I didn't like that strong smell. But anyway, we appreciate you watching today, and uh, if you're not a subscriber, help us out by hitting that subscribe button, like the video, comment, and uh, we appreciate you watching. God bless you, and we're gone.